Today we're going to compare texts using measuring weather. This is an informational text. It gives facts about a topic. And you're going to find facts in this article about weather. Our text focus is graphs. Now a graph is a drawing that uses numbers, colors, pictures, or symbols to give information. If you look at the graph on page 108, what does that graph show? It has a title. It tells us our daily temperatures. Photographs are often used in informational text to help the reader understand the topic. Okay. Informational text also may include a graph. And the text above a graph will give you a title and tell you what it's give you what information it's giving you on that graph. So let's um, do a preview. See the title. I see some photographs. Here I see a graph with great information in it about daily temperatures of the week and then the degrees. Let's go back and read measuring weather. There are different tools for measuring weather. Have you ever heard of a wind sock? It shows which way the wind blows. A rain gauge measures how much rain falls. A large storm will bring a lot of rain. A thermometer measures temperature. Temperature is how warm or cool something is. On a hot day, you and your friends might like to ride bikes or play ball. On a cold day, you might want to put on a coat and play in the leaves or build a snowman. When you know the temperature, you know what to wear. Like the examples, this one it's over 80 degrees and she's wearing a tank top and she's outside. And here it's 20 some degrees and he's walking in the snow with all kinds of clothes on. Look at the bars across the graph. Each bar shows the temperature for a day. Which day was the hottest? Which one goes the farthest? Right, Wednesday. Which day was the coolest? Looks like Thursday. And what was the temperature on the second day of the week? Well, second day is Tuesday. And this is 50, so this must be it's halfway between. So maybe 55 degrees on the second day of the week. All right, it's your turn to compare texts. You're going to use these three connections, text to text, text to self, and text to world to do that. So in text to text, you're going to think about what you've learned in this article, Measuring Weather. And then you're going to think about what was the weather like when Frog and Toad flew a kite. And you're going to write about it. In text to self, you're going to draw a picture. It shows the different kinds of weather in your state. And then you're going to tell about it. And in text to world, Frog and Toad like the outdoors. How is the garden from Lesson 21 like the kite? How is it different? And how do the characters act? So complete all three connections um, and compare Frog and Toad the kite to measuring weather.